What if I told you there was I had a hack? I had a hack to truly win this game of life. I mean a hack where I could prove to you how you're gonna win or you're gonna fail. And it's all about your focus. Is your focus on the outside noise or internally? Do you focus on what you can control or what somebody else is controlling for you? There's a comparison trap. Most of us have this huge comparison trap. Most people are caught up in measuring their success against other people. They're constantly checking social media, worrying about likes and follows, the social media mirage, if you will, scrolling, comparing, and trolling. This is what distracts people themselves. This mirage distracts people from personal growth and true achievement. True leaders, however, play a different game. People that win this game of life, the impossible game, play a different game. They focus on what they can control, their own actions, decisions, and even their growth in their body being balanced and even in business. See, the successful business owners don't waste time comparison. They're too busy innovating, improving, and even focusing on their own journey to success. Where are you at in this cycle? When you look at your body, do you look at other people's body and wonder why you can't have that body, but yet you're not focused internally how to really change and get that body? When you look at your spirituality and your growth with Christ, are you thinking that it's a pastor's telling you wrong or your structure of religion is wrong and everything's wrong and you're blaming everybody else or why you don't have their relationship, but you're not really focusing on it within yourself? When you have things going wrong in your personal life and your balance of your family and your friends, you blame somebody else. It's their problem. It's not a you problem. And when you look at it in business, if your business isn't soaring, are you truly blaming outside noise from politics to society to the way it's set up or it's not fair, people aren't coming in, there's a money issue, or you are focusing on what you can't control. Even myself, I get caught up in this spiral web of this game of focusing on things I truly can't control and then I wonder why things just aren't happening. I heard this thing one time, it was the most powerful thing. And it was talking about the Ten Commandments. I know it's going to sound corny as a spirituality thing, but think about this. One of the Ten Commandments, it says, Thou shalt not use God's name in vain. I'm going to ask you this self, this one simple question. What truly is God's name? What did he say his name was in Moses? I'm going to paraphrase a little bit, but he says, I am. Tell them I am. His name is I am. And people want to wonder why affirmations work and don't work. And how you can really using God's name in vain is cursing yourself and I am. Like I am poor. I am sick. I'm in poverty. That's cursing. That's using God's name in vain. When you say I am successful, I am happy, I am glad, I am difference maker, whatever it is, you are now praising God. God lives within you. So when you focus on external noise, you are not even being true to who you truly were called to be. True change, true power, true leadership comes from changing and focusing within. So therefore you can share your gift without. Man, I hope this message helps. I hope it touches dear to your heart. And if you have any questions, DM me at Bobby Gracia DDS, or you can email me at Dr. Bobby at the dentistceo.com. And I would love to help and change and transform your life. Have a great day. We'll talk soon.